from the YouTube Dojo. Show. This is week now up there with Ellie Mueller. And now, a man who knows that Jeremy Pippen will never host the late night talk show, Ellie Kanye Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week now update. I am Ellie Kanye Mueller. Okay, let's go. Tonight's Carol's Father winners are as follows. We got four drop reviews and fan edits, which is fan made movie trailers and movie intros. We got notified clips, which is generously awesome videos. We got Optic Ninja with his cool video games. We got, we got Troubles, of course, with her brilliant gaming and shooting skills. And finally, you got Okate. That's right, Okate. She is really cool. She plays video games. And I think that she's about to do a YouTube video about her YouTube crush. That's right. Okay, it has a question on me. That's right. So, check all those people out and you won't be disappointed, alright? Now, tonight we're talking about Mr. Jeremy Piven. Now, who is Jeremy Piven? He's an actor. Duh! He was on the Larry Sanders show. That's good. Of course, he has only won three Emmy Awards. He also did these movies, Heat, Lucas, PCU, and The Crew. Did he ever win an Oscar? <laughs> no. And now it's time for tonight's top eight list. Tonight's category. Top eight words that will best describe Jeremy Piven. Eight, crazy. Seven, silly. Six, insane. Five, goofy. Four, interesting. Three, weird. Two, odd. And number one, unusual. There you go. Now, let me ask you folks one question. Alright, what do you actually think about Mr. Jeremy Piven trying to get his own late night TV talk show? Give your responses down below. Now, MP and the Purple Door would like to talk to you. Jeremy, Jeremy, heaven. That guy will never host a late night talk show. Do you want to know why? Because he has turned himself into a guy who will probably talk about politics at some point. Yeah, and we are, you know, we are so sick and tired of hearing other people talk about politics all the time on TV. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. I would rather watch O'Kate's upcoming video about her YouTube crush. Wait a minute. So are you saying that O'Kate would like to make love to Mr. Mueller? Yes, but that's not the point. That's not the point. The point is that Jeremy Piven needs to just shut up and let things be. Amen to that. Amen to that. All right, let's go. What is it? We're talking about Jeremy Piven. Who cares? Who is this guy? Jake, I don't care. Like, who is it? Okay. Well, who is it, mate? He's an actor. Who? Who is he? What kind of actor? Is he a stupid actor? Is he a smart actor? Or well. Or is he Take you? a look at this. Oh wow, careful guys. He has a face. He told me to take a look at his face. Oh wow, mm. I'm so spooked. Spooky, scary, still No. Alright. His first important role came in 1992 when he became a regular cast member on the Larry Sanders show. Okay. And then... He appeared on Seinfeld. Who's Seinfeld? The show that Jerry Seinfeld was on. Do you know that show? Yes! From 1989 or 1990 to 19... Okay, mate. What else, mate? He was also on a sitcom entitled Ellen. Starring Ellen uh, DeGeneres. I hate Ellen. It's just... Oh, hello, mate. Hello. So, what are you doing? 
Oh, that's great, mate. Good job, mate. Then what are you gonna do, mate? Okay, mate. Remember this, mates. And then the show's over. Right. He also appeared on Raw. Entourage. Raw. No, Raw. Why did you say that? He was just a guest host of Raw. Exactly. Raw. Hey. What he me? also did such films as Lucas. Who cares? No one cares about the 1999 old ass movie. Well, they care about the new ass movie. Like Edge of Tomorrow. So undercover. Spy Kids. I. Ah, 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 ah. But not the, the old Spy Kids, the new Spy Kids. So what? They're, 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 they're all kind of shitty. True. Cars. Like the first car. And he was in the American version. No shit, mate. And then the crew and then the whole, a whole lot of stuff. Boy, well, I'm a, I think his best work on the movie screens is definitely Scooby Doo and Where's My Mummy. And he's doing a show named Wisdom of the Hound. Wisdom and, of the Crowd, yes. Uh, and Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live, but he did that in 2007. That's and 10 years ago. He got nom nominated for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 7, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, I'm glad that you mentioned Jeremy Piven because he appeared in not just any episode of Seinfeld. No, he appeared on the season finale. The season four finale of Seinfeld. Okay, was that the last season? And I guess how many people watched it? How many? 32 million people! I would have got excited if, if, if it was 32 Two tr tr trillion, but thirty-two million is big, though. Yeah, you wanna know why? Because it aired an hour earlier to make room for the two-hour finale of Cheers. Fuck Cheers. Oh, uh, Cheers. You wanna know what Cheers is? What? Cheers is just a show about a bunch of people going to a bar and hanging out. A ball. Let's see, I gotta check my wallet. Let's see how many tens I have. Let's see, boys. Wait, there's not a ten, I have a twenty. Oh, oh, a twenty, you know what this means? He gets a twenty out of twenty. Oh! And that's how you, and that's how the news goes, mate. Well, folks, that's the show for tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. That's the news, and I am out skis. Farewell, bye-bye.